Welcome to Jurassic Park. Ha, just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the place where all of your creative dreams can come true. Today, I am at a makerspace. Today, I'm at Area 59 in Gillette, Wyoming, which is a makerspace. A makerspace, if you're unfamiliar with the concept, is a place almost like a gym where you pay a monthly membership, but instead of getting to torture yourself on gym equipment, you get to come here and make your creative dreams come true. This makerspace in particular features a full wood shop, which I'm standing in right now, laser CNC machines, 3D printers, and many other cool toys and programs. So you can come in with some sort of design in mind and build it here because a lot of people don't have these tools in their own homes. And if you do, very cool on you. Makerspaces are all around the country, so check out your local community to see if you have one too, so that you can enjoy the benefits of one. Today, I wanted to make a light bulb sign out of my Brianna Dignard light bulb using the laser CNC. So we're gonna work on that process, learn how the laser CNC works, and see the final result. Who's ready to have some fun at the makerspace today? Let's talk design. All right, so I'm beginning with my Brianna Dignard light bulb, and I apologize, I am really bad at drawing, not with a lot more effort. And I want to turn this into a three-dimensional layered sign complete with lights. So to do this, we're going to have to start the design in multiple layers. And because I can't draw that well in perspective, I'm just going to draw it like this. So our first layer is going to have to be an outline of the light bulb that's hollow in the center so that we can have the next layer be a clear plastic layer of the whole light bulb that's going to be able to be see-through. Next, we're going to need a spacer, which is going to be exactly the same out light bulb outline that we had before, and that's just to provide space into our design. And then our central piece will be the light bulb featuring the filament of the BD for Brianna Dignard. Next, we need another spacer, which is exactly the same as our second or our third and first layer. Then we're going to have another plastic layer, just like our first plastic layer. And then finally, the outer piece, which will feature the kind of light bulb lines on the bottom to give more detail. So this is the general idea. And now what we need to do is take this design and all these layers and translate that onto an Adobe Illustrator file. Adobe Illustrator has a cool feature where you can take an image and do an object trace on it and turn it into the outline versus having to hand draw it all yourself. For a novice like me, this is a great tool. Then I took my outline and split it into the seven different layers I needed and proceeded to delete all the lines I didn't need for each layer. I'm not great at Adobe Illustrator, so often I made a face that looked like this, or even a face that looked like this because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So this is me trying to remove the BD out of the filament to make the top layer, and you can see just clearly I get a lot of error messages because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I got there, and that's what matters in the end. Once I had all of the layers made, you actually have to get them in a way that the laser CNC is going to be able to read them, which means the line widths need to be a certain thickness and the line colors have to be a certain color. So in this case, if I wanted the image to actually cut out my shape, the lines needed to be red, which is what you see me doing here. I make the outlines that I want cut out red. And if I want them to be engraved or kind of drawn on by the laser, not fully cut out like I wanted my little light bulb bottom to be, they have to be black. And black means it's going to raster or scan the laser back and forth in order to create the image. It's time to cut out those pieces. <laughs> the laser CNC to me is super addicting to watch and it combines a high powered laser with a computer controlled head so that the information given to it by the Adobe Illustrator file is followed and it can actually cut out that path in a very precise manner using something called G-code, which is a series of coordinates fed to it along that path. And it can cut out thin pieces of wood, 
plastic, and even a couple of other materials. There's a laser CNC at this makerspace equipped with an attachment that allows you to engrave on metal water bottles. They are super fun machines to use. And now here are all the pieces all cut out, and now it's time to assemble them all together, paint them, and then I'll show you the reveal. Okay, are we ready to see this thing? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. But wait, but wait, there's more. Da -da! <laughs> so this is the finished light bulb sign, all painted, put together, with the lights in it, and I think it turned out absolutely adorable. It makes me really happy, and I'm very proud of how it turned out. And now you can actually see those individual layers. So we have this back piece and then a layer of plastic and then another little spacer layer and then the Brianna Dignard and then another spacer layer, another layer of plastic and then the outer layer that has the bottom detail on it. And I actually ended up cutting out, like you can see there's a gap here that wasn't originally in my concept. And this was so that I can insert lights into it. And again, I am beyond excited at how it turned out. And here's the little light battery pack. And then I also had made a little tiny one as just a proof of concept before I cut out a bigger one and used up more materials. And I filled this one with glitter. And now it's a maraca. Successful make at the makerspace. I am super excited with how these turned out. I can't wait to go home and hang this up in my little backdrop and it will make me so happy to do that. So I hope you enjoyed visiting the Makerspace with me today and getting to see how to make stuff. And again, check out your local community and see if you too have a Makerspace somewhere nearby that you can make really cool things at too. Not only did we get to build a super cool light bulb sign while at the Makerspace, but we also got to learn a little bit more about how laser CNCs work, combining high powered lasers with computer control to cut out whatever shape we wanted to cut out. And did you know that there's actually some materials you can't cut out on the laser CNC because it will either burst into flames, bad, or emit toxic fumes, arguably worse. So if you want to use a laser CNC, just check out what materials you can and cannot use on it to avoid having the place catch on fire or to avoid dying from toxic fumes. Just a helpful hint. I hope you enjoyed the outcome of this project just as much as I did. Again, check your local community for your own makerspace to bring your own creative dreams to life. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, check me out next week where I will be joining you from the great state of Alaska. More travels ahead for this summer. And as always, keep it sciency. <laughs> Makerspace.